Hi everyone! This is one of my favorite books and it's called No One Knows Where Gobo Goes by Mark Saltzman and pictures by Peter Elwell. My name is Wembley Fraggle. Fraggle Rock is my address. And Gobo lives there also. He's my closest friend, I guess. He's always there to help me choose between a no and a yes. Gobo's an explorer. He explores things very well. He usually tells us when he's leaving for a spell. But sometimes he just disappears to where he doesn't tell. So no one knows where Gobo goes, we Fraggles often say. Yes, no one knows where Gobo goes when Gobo goes away. Hmm, and they're all looking for him. <laughs> in the cave. Now Moki Red and I one day were walking underground when Moki in her dreamy way turned to look around. Wembley, do you know, she asked, where Gobo might be found? Then gloomy Boober wandered up and said, is Gobo here? I simply cannot understand how he can disappear. I hope he's not in trouble deep. Oh gosh, what's more? Oh dear. That's typical of Boober. He comes up with things like that. If you're enjoying radishes, he'll say you're getting fat. You know what sounds like Boober most? <laughs> A tuba playing flat. <laughs> then Rad asked, Yes, where's Gobo, Wembley? Do you even care? I know the trouble's on the way whenever Red is there. Does Red herself bring trouble on? Do Fraggle Tails have hair? I have a thought, Red added. Now, here's what I propose. I think we all should follow him and learn what no one knows. So who will dare to come with me and see where Gobo goes? Ooh, they're going to follow him. They're going to follow him. Who will go where Gobo goes and who will choose to stay? Who will learn where Gobo goes when Gobo goes away? Well, I was not too pleased with this. Who wants to be a sneak? But still, we all were curious. So later in the week, we noticed Gobo going off and followed for a peek. Oh, he's ahead, and so they're going to follow him. We followed through a tunnel. We turned when he turned right. We followed close behind him, just staying out of sight. Until the tunnel got so dark, it seemed a lot like night. The dark got even darker. Darker still like deepest sleep. The dark was very quiet, and no fraggle made a peep. And somewhere near, I thought I heard some cavern crawlies creep. Ooh, scary. Boober cried, we're lost, we're lost. We traveled round and round. We must keep calm, said Moki, for surely we'll be found. Then Red said, wait a minute, I think I hear a sound. We waited there forever, at least it seemed that long. And then across the darkness, Gobo's voice came clear and strong. I bet you think you're lost, he said, but luckily you're wrong. Stay close to me and we'll be five fraggles homeward bound. Then Gobo led us left and right. He led us all around. At last the caves got bright and we were on familiar ground. And they got home. He brought them back home. We never should have followed you. We had no right, I said. Moki nodded once or twice and Boober hung his head. But tell us, please, we're on our knees. Where do you go? asked Red. A quiet cave, guessed Moki, where a secret river flows. A cavern, Boober wondered, where the speckled mushroom grows. I have a place, said Gobo, but it isn't one of those.
I go there when I want to think what makes a radish grow, or when I want to count how many things there are to know, or when the world's too fast for me and I want someplace slow. But this exact location will have to stay unknown. Like everyone, I need a place where I can be alone. And if I told where my place was, it wouldn't be my own. Now, do we know where Gobo goes? What did we really find? I guess we know. We sort of got an answer of a kind. We do, but then we don't. I can never make up my mind. <laughs> so no one knows where Gobo goes. You'll still hear the Fraggles say. No one knows where Gobo goes when Gobo goes away. Yes, no one knows, and I suppose that's how it's bound to stay.